We are an interdisciplinary research and development group from KMI, the Knowledge Media Institute at the Open University in Milton Keynes, UK. I am Michelle Backler, a web developer, and I work with Simon Buckingham Shum, Senior Lecturer in Knowledge Media, and Anna Delido, Research Associate. We are working on the Open Learning Network project on the design and development of Cohere, a web tool to enhance learning and critical thinking. This movie is going to attempt to show you how we are trying to turn page annotation into more effective learning. We have created currently a Firefox extension for the Cohere website which gathers annotations and attempts to add a layer of additional sophistication to them to help learners. So I'm going to explain to you how we've done that. So to begin with I'm just going to show you how we do the standard annotation that most systems like SideWiki do. So I find an interesting article. I've got a little clip I want to talk about. I highlight it. I turn it into an annotation. Now the first thing we do to enhance a standard web annotation is we have the concept of classifying the type of comment or idea that we're making about it. And here you can see we have a list of default classifications which uses can edit. And this one I'm going to choose to make a question. Now this system is still in development so there are a few <laughs> bugs. So here you can see there's my idea, my, my annotation against that clip. And if I uh, select it, coming back to it, it will highlight it. So that's pretty much the way people do annotations on things like Google SideWiki, except the first difference is we've added this concept of classifying the annotation or idea as a particular type. Now this is useful in, its, in and of itself if you're keeping notes for yourself or these are sharing these on the web and seeing other pe people's just to see what sort of comment or annotation or idea you have, you've made. But it becomes much more interesting when you look at the next thing that we've added is the idea of connections. Imagine now I have two annotations on the same page. They've both been classified but they're not connected together. So I'd very much like to make some sort of more meaningful connection between these two pieces of information. So I'm going to connect the idea that reducing deforestation could help in reaching the targets to the question that I had of is this achievable. So there's my question and I'm now going to pick a meaningful connection for the two. Now again, we have a whole set of default types. We've broken them into positive, neutral and negative types of connection, but people can add their own. So I'm going to say that this idea is a response to this question. Okay. So now in, in the connections tab you will see that we have my idea of reducing deforestation is a response to is this achievable? So let's see now what you can get by exploring yours and other people's connections. Imagine you're browsing another article and you see that somebody's made a comment. Interesting. And you have a little look at it. And then you see that they've actually made a connection. So they've said that this supports this other piece of evidence. You think, oh, that's interesting. And you could explore this further. So if you click this little button here, it'll actually take you off to the main website. And the initial diagram you'll get is a web of all the connections that have been made in and out of this annotation this idea. So you can see what other people are thinking, saying, commenting on this idea. We also have um, uh, currently an applet which we're turning into a Firefox plugin which gives you a sort of nice network diagram. And we're hoping eventually to embed a smaller version of this in the lower half 
of the connection tab so people can actually see the connections in the page without leaving the page. And so navigating this way I could say okay where's this come from this other idea that they've connected to and I could go and visit that site you can see there's a whole bunch of ideas that other people have put on this site so by adding the concept of connecting together both your own annotations and other people's annotations you get a much richer learning experience a much richer navigatable outcome interconnected outcome you can actually see how ideas weave you can gain knowledge from exploring these connections and understanding and getting an overview of how people's ideas about different articles and different concepts all around the web interconnect so that's the fundamental of how we're trying to extend just basic web annotation we hope you enjoyed this mock-up showing our vision of how our Cohere add-on could turn web annotation into more effective learning. We look forward to the chance of learning more about Jetpack and how it could enhance our vision should we pass to the second phase of the competition. Thank you for watching.